Hi Capricorn friends. I'm here to do an energy exchange just for you and us together. Thank you for being here with me. Please subscribe. I am going to link a blog because I also write as well as timestamps in the description um, so you can quickly navigate this reading during a busy work week. So I'm going to do the setup now. There will be a link where you can watch me fast forward through that and then a link to the message that's just for you. So stick with me, please subscribe. Um, lots of fun things every day and great messages. Okay, so hold on. My Capricorn friends, this is just where I fast forward through the setup. Stay tuned. Hi Capricorn, thank you for letting me set up. So first we'll take a look at the Astrological Oracle deck. And here we have Venus and Pluto together. Let me show you what they look like. Together, they send a message to you Capricorn to let go of what's toxic. Do not hold on or do not cling to what doesn't bring you joy, comfort, stability. Just what sings to you in your in your heart. That is awesome. And it is about love with Venus here. Um, strong energy. You definitely have to do what's right for you. Let go of the toxic stuff. Let go of what doesn't bring you joy. And that could be love, work, also habits in life, release old patterns. So um, in Tarot, we have two pentacles, which speaks to changes and choices in an infinite amount. It's a very happy card. So it means, you know, don't be afraid of the choices that you're going to make. Don't be afraid of the relationships or toxicity that you have to let go. Now you have the Six of Wands in reverse. This typically is someone who has a victory in a situation and he's moving forward. In reverse, it does mean the gates are open to the enemy. So this is where you need to listen to the planet vibe of letting go of any connection to that. Because this is the power you want and you're going to get it. This is just a warning, but you can be this knight riding past this toxicity that you see and these fiery wands, okay? And that's further evident by the five of pentacles in reverse. Um, this is getting through more challenges and changes represented by the five, and you're worried about money. It does represent some fear, but what comes next is also a five. But look, you've already been through it. You're done. There's really nothing to fear. You need to be happy and get deep with your spiritualness to know what choices you want to make. So this really is about a new beginning because you've got to let go of the baggage and move forward. And what the Spirit Song Tarot has for you, you go from a nine the hermit in Tarot, which you mean, you know means a lot of contemplation. And this koala is adorable. It means action and nine means action and courage. The hermit means contemplation and wisdom. The koala comes with a very good energy, as you can tell. He's a beacon of well-being and speaks to resting and regrouping after you've let go of this toxicity 
because what comes in not another nine speaking to actions and courage and working hard and this fox does that well you are moving into crystals which are pentacles and this page of crystals the fox is of ideas and discipline he's clever he's a master at solving problems he's gonna guide you through moving forward from the toxicity that we talked about he's grounded and focused keen observant and he represents the need to set goals right now have consistent productivity ideas study meeting success and opportunities because you have pulled another major arcana card awakening which is the peacock and this speaks to renewal and enlightenment the feathers literally speak to just shedding of the old and rising from the ashes like a resurrection. So once you let go of the toxicity, bad habits, bad people, bad associations, you are going to rise spiritually, physically, mentally, and in your soul. It's a resurrection. That's the message I want you to leave with today. Thank you for being here, Capricorn. You're a very hard worker. You keep doing it. Do you. Be you. Don't be them. Peace.